Hi, I'm Laura from Fashion Toolbox, your go-to space for all things 3D fashion, cloth 3D training, and digital product development. Today, I'm diving into the new Clo 3D 2025 interface update, giving you a first look at what has changed, what's improved, and how these updates could impact your workflow. So let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in the Clo 3D 2025 new user interface. So there are a couple of key things to note. I would say the major update here is that the library, if you install from new, from the 2025 update, the library will be positioned up here in your top right corner. So it's no longer folded up on the left hand side. It is now up here. And the reason that Clo have done this is to give you more space in your 3D and your 2D window. If you are working on a small screen, you will know that it is notoriously difficult to be able to manage your all of your screens all together if you've got your library unfolded on the left hand side. So now it's docked up at the top right hand corner and you can just access that at any time. So if I click on this icon, that will load up my library. And you can dock your library wherever you like. You can have it over at the top. I think as default, it loads in up at the top here, but you can move it wherever you like. And then when you close it down, it will automatically reopen in the place where you left it. So you can either click on the cross to close it down, or it is still short key Y to minimize that window and why to open it back up so pretty easy to get in and out of this new library it does it feels much more intuitive you can do a lot more searches everything is connected in this space so you've got all of your close set library all of your avatars all of your files everything that you had before and i think that once i familiarize myself with it as well i'm not fully into this yet because I wanted to show you it from scratch and me setting up my libraries as well. So I think that once I am totally in this, I will prefer this library as well. I just haven't given it the chance yet. So first off, everything is exactly as it was before. You just have more visual icons. So we've got the garments, the default garments in Clo. there's now a couple more uploaded here before it was just a standard male and female t-shirt there is now a dress a french sleeve dress and a crew neck raglan t-shirt and a skirt so there are a couple of more garments in here that you can use as blocks to start off with and you can see that these all have the N logo next to them, which means that they are new and they need to be downloaded before you can actually use them on the system. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and we can select all of these just by clicking on this little icon here. And then we can download those so that they are on our system and ready and available in our library. As you saw just then, it is really, really quick to download. So don't feel like you have to download everything up front. Just download them as and when you need them. So the next one down is the avatars. So you've got all of your, fi your files and folders just as you did before. A new addition is baby. So we only had the kids one before. It is now being separ separated down into baby and kids. So. We've got the baby file with Juju, the baby avatar, and poses and accessories for Juju as well. So this is a slight change already in the interface. Previously, we had all separate folders for the accessories. So we had like the hair and the shoes all in separate folders that you could easily see. They are now stacked away within the accessories folder. So if you do need to access any of those, you just go into the accessories folder and you will find them all there. Whenever you want to get back, if you just want to go one step back, it's easiest to use this little menu up at the top here. So you just go in baby, avatar, and then you can get back to your other folders as well. 
So say I want to go into the female folder next and see the avatars here. So at the moment in this library, we have only got the three latest Clo avatars. The older avatars are not in this library. For now, anyway, maybe they might come back. And then again, you have got your accessories, motions, poses and sizes all in here. And any custom folders that you have already set up should still be in here. And then again, just to go back, you can go back one or you can go all the way back to the start of the avatar folder to get the rest of your avatar folders. You have got this menu here as well on the left that has all of the folder breakdowns, so you can easily access there. But if that is distracting, you can unfold and fold that back up again. The next one down is fabrics. So again, all of your fabrics here much nicer and much more visual than what they were before but you can still toggle into the list view if you would rather see them like that i have a preference for the list view because i like to be able to read the full description of the fabric the only difference here now is before in the old library when you hovered over the fabric you could still see the large image of the fabric itself in this update we can't see that anymore which is a little bit of a disappointment but if I wanted to see them visually I can just toggle back to this menu and you can resize this menu so that you can see everything a little bit clearer as well just by dragging on the corners so all of the fabrics are in there you've still got access to the substance library and wash textures your normal maps and your elastics just as before then we have got trims, all of the trim folders exactly as they were in the last library and the stages too. So that is all of the sections that we have under the standard Claw library. And then if you remember in the old library, after all of these, everything nestled underneath that would be your own personal linked folders. So they are no longer showing at the bottom, they now show at the top as separate libraries. So here we have each of our separate libraries that we can actually access here. So if I go into the close set one next, you will probably need to sign in. Sometimes it will automatically be signed in if you do have to sign in using close set. I'm going to sign in now just to show you the whole process. So it will load up your Internet Explorer and then you can log into your close set account. And then once signed in, it will automatically link. And everything that I have got in my Closet account will show up here. So I can click on here and then I can see all of my libraries. And I can see all of my files in here. So these can easily just be dragged and dropped into Clo to open. You can make amendments and then you can save them back instantly to your Closet account so that everything is updated. Okay, so then we also have our workspace underneath the browser tab and we have got our favorites as well so if you've got anything marked as a favorite in closet you will be able to access that here and you will be able to access everything in all of your workspaces here as well so you can see all of your content really easily and you can search through all of that if you want to look for a particular style say that we're looking for a jacket then it will bring up all of the jackets that I have saved in here and that will go by category as well so I might have incorrectly marked some of these as a jacket because I have a mask that's come up and I have a dress or two that have come up as well so make sure that in close set when you're uploading things you're giving them the right category so that 
your search will be more accurate. Okay, so I'll just see if I, I don't think I have anything in my favorites, but if you do, then they will show up here. So it's a really quick way for you to be able to find files that you use a lot. But in my case, I don't utilize it like that. So I'll go back now to these libraries. So now anything after close at are libraries that you can link. You can, if you had all of your libraries linked originally in your old library, you can bring them back here just by clicking on this plus and then you will see this option to transfer previous favourites. Those that were nestled underneath the stage were marked as your favourites. So you can load them back in like that. When I set mine up, that I am going to do that in the first instance. But I think what will suit me better for filing is to have all of my client libraries all separate in tabs so that I can access things really easily and see things how I need to. So I, th I think that is the route that I will go down in the long run. But for now, I'm going to transfer all of my previous favourites in. And then I can see all of the folders that I had in my original library so the clove made it really really easy easy for you to transfer all of those files that you did have in your old library back into the new library and then these can just be renamed if you do a right click and rename i'm going to call this favorites and then i will go back at a later date and i will actually remap some of these folders so that it makes sense for how I work so for now I think I am just going to delete some of these I might delete this one and then I will come back and sort everything else out later so as I mentioned you've got the search function here so you can search for anything within your folders so much better than it was before and then if I click on the information, then this will come up on the right hand side just to give you a little bit more info on that style. So it is showing me the 360 renders. It's not showing me any actual text information. I thought there might be like version history and things like that here, but not the case. You can see version history if you do a right click on your file in Closet. And then you can see here, open, add previous version. So if you have got multiple versions, say within your close set, you can open an older version and work on that. So that is really useful. Um, basically, the, they are linked so well now in the system in this new library that you can work seamlessly in and out of close set. So perfect, perfect structure there. So if you do decide that this new library is still not for you, you're still not feeling it, or you want a little bit more time to get used to it, you can go backwards and forwards. So any point you think, no, I want my old library back, just click on this little icon down here, like the back button, and that will give you a little pop-up. The new library will be reverted to the previous library. Do you want to proceed? And then it just tells you you can easily switch back if you need. So I'll proceed to switch back. And now you can see here what I was talking about a little bit with the stage. Everything underneath there, those are all classed as my favourites. So they loaded up in the new tab, which I renamed as favourites for a library section. Um, but now that the new library is in, I can see so a much better file structure where I can organise my files better and access things. So I think that I will be working with the new library. And as you can see, if you do need to get back, you can just switch to the new library just down here at any time. So you can switch backwards and forwards. Don't feel like you're stuck with one or the other at this point. Okay, a couple of other updates in terms of where things are sitting. So you might have noticed that um, if you do use a UV editor, 
that has disappeared from the mode option at the top and it is now placed under materials uv and uv editor so if you feel like it's gone missing you can't find it that is now where it is and that will open up the uv editor and you can map all of your uvs just as you did before i think there have been a couple of new updates to this specifically but i will do a separate video on that we are just looking at the user interface for now there are so many new features in the 2025 update and i do plan on doing little mini videos on most of them another thing that has been renamed is the parametric pattern so any of you that are familiar with the parametric pattern from before this has now been renamed the pattern drafter and again i am going to do a more in detail video to show you how this works it is amazing i'm really excited about it i think it's great for a starting point on patterns it's never a production ready pattern because it utilizes a little bit of ai um, but there's some really exciting new updates in there that I think even pattern makers will really appreciate. So I will do a walkthrough of that new tool. But I think in terms of the user interface, that is more or less everything that has changed. So if you do have any questions at all on the content of this video or on the 2025 updates, please feel free to leave me a comment in the section below and I will reply to you as soon as I can. And if you like my content, please like, share, follow, subscribe to my channel and I would love to hear from you about what you would like me to cover next. Have a great day.